Last week, sir, I was in Davos, and it was striking to see how India dominated not just the conversations, but even the investment narrative. India today stands out as an investment destination in a world that is fraught with turmoil. Dynamism in policy making, transparency and administration, stability in governance, and a relentless focus on reforms have been hallmarks of the NDA government. Honorable Prime Minister, I can tell you, sir, with first hand experience, given our group's presence across 36 countries, the world today recognizes India's prowess. Our Prime Minister has also championed cooperative federalism on the one hand and also championed competitive federalism on the other hand. The scale of this Global Investment Summit is perhaps another marker of that. Personally for me, it is truly a pleasure to be here in Uttar Pradesh and participate in this program. In the 1950s when India was in its early stages of development, Hindalco, the metals flagship company of the Aditya Birla Group, took root in Renukut, which was then a remote corner of Uttar Pradesh. Since then, the Renukut factory has grown almost a hundred times. Hindalco has grown to be amongst the largest aluminium companies in the world, and our group has expanded in many, many more businesses in Uttar Pradesh and, of course, globally as well. Here in Uttar Pradesh, our presence spans diverse sectors, including cement, chemicals, carbon bag, and financial services. Over the years, our group has invested over 40,000 crores in the state, and today we offer direct and indirect employment to about 35,000 people. Our community initiatives span 450 villages and meaningfully touch the lives of over 1 million people annually. Our CSR projects focus on healthcare, education, the girl child, sustainable livelihood and infrastructure. For example, we run 11 schools in Uttar Pradesh that provide quality education to 10,000 students. Through our connect with the government's ongoing Nai Pahel project, we have helped transform 180 government schools in eight districts of Uttar Pradesh. Therefore, we are deeply invested in the progress of the state, and so it is very heartening to see the metamorphosis, the huge change that the state has been going through, most remarkably under the dy dynamic leadership of our Chief Minister. UP has become today clearly one of the most attractive destinations for investment in India. As they say, double engine ki sarkar ke chalte vikas ko mili ek nai raftar. I noticed that there are three distinct signs of the huge transformation that is underway here in UP. First is the significant strides that the state has made in terms of ease of doing business. As some of you might know in the central government's annual rankings, UP has jumped to the second position in the latest survey released in 2021 from being in the 14th position in 2016. It has implemented 186 of the 187 reforms suggested by the union government. The Nivesh Mitram portal, which is a dedicated single window system, has also won huge appreciation from investors both in India and globally. Second is the vote of confidence from foreign investors. The state has received FDI of over 880 million since October 2019, despite the COVID pandemic. The amount of FDI received during this period was more than what was received in the previous two decades. Third is the scale and speed with which the state is upgrading its infrastructure. In the last few years, Uttar Pradesh has embarked on mammoth infrastructure projects like the Purvanchal Expressway, the RRTS or the High Speed Regional Rapid Transit System and a slew of other new airports. All these initiatives to me demonstrate the intent to transform and to transform at a neck break, neck break speed. One can palpably feel the rapid strides of progress in the way UP is progressing 
under the leadership of Chief, Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath Ji and the guidance of our Prime Minister Modi Ji. As an early investor in the state's journey of industrialization, we feel very enthused by this new face of Uttar Pradesh. It is no longer a state that is content being a lagging follower in the nation's economic journey. Rather, it is a keen leader of India's evolution to a $5 trillion economy. When it comes to ease of doing business or building new age infrastructure, UP is setting an example for other states to follow. At the end of the day, ease of doing business is about an experience, and our experience with the administration has been truly wonderful. I personally look, I personally look forward to this continued support as we continue to accelerate our investments in Uttar Pradesh across businesses. Our cement business, for example, is investing 5,000 crores in cement grinding capacities in Shah Jahanpur and near Lucknow. Several of our other businesses, namely carbon black, aluminium, and financial services, have large investments in the pipeline to be made in the next three years. I would like to take this opportunity to assure Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath Ji and the administration that we will always and continue to be active partners in the remarkable development journey of Uttar Pradesh. I will conclude by taking inspiration from a Hindi couplet that aptly captures the story upfolding in front of our eyes. Jab hausla bana liya hai, unchi udaan ka, phir dekhna fizool hai, kad asman ka. Thank you. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe. 